Join us for the worst day at sea on a cruise ship at 21 weeks pregnant with a two-year-old. I woke up and immediately felt seasick. The waves were so strong this day and the whole ship was sick. I've never seen anything like it. They had barf bags everywhere and everywhere you looked, there was someone who was obviously unwell. We tried our best to get breakfast, but between my daughter and I, we were sick more than 10 times, so I thought we should just get outside. After some fresh air, our rest, and wearing our steady scoops motion sickness glasses, we were finally feeling good enough to scope out the food. We thought it would be best to stay outside, even though all the pools were closed due to the inclement weather, so we just hung around the hot tub. I couldn't go in because I'm pregnant, but my husband enjoyed it. Not wanting the day to be a wash, we got some ice cream and had a little dance party poolside before heading back to our cabins for some showers, downtime, and to get ready for the evening. I gotta admit, this day wasn't that bad, but once you feel seasick, it is so hard to shake that feeling for the rest of the day. So we took it easy and we stopped by the card room. If you're going on a ship, look for the card room, game room, or library room. It's usually stocked with goodies and pretty empty. On our way to supper, we went to the reception for the senior officers and got to meet the captain and see this beautiful sunset. If you're worried about taking your little one to the main dining room on a cruise ship, don't. It might be fancy, but they make it so fun and the servers are really good with the kids. After supper, we tried out the kids club again, but it didn't work out. So we went to a main stage show and I put my daughter to bed while you know Donnie went out to live his best life.